and I think that is key. Trinidad and Tobago, they have prohibited the sale of or serving of sugar-sweetened beverages in all government and government-assisted primary and secondary schools. Now, what they found is that the total percent of students consuming SSBs decreased by 25.3%. Now, we're coming a little bit closer to <laughs> Bermuda. Um, when we look at Bermuda, they not only implemented a tax on sugary drinks, they did it on a lot of very high sugar items. So they went beyond so that. So not just the drinks, mm -hmm. foods that mm -hmm. were high also mm -hmm. with sugar. Okay. And what they found in Bermuda is that the tax on those sugary drinks and high sugar products, they found that 48% of Bermudans reported consuming fewer of those taxed products. And not only that, but between 2018 and 2019, they garnered $5.4 million in revenue. And that revenue went towards health and wellness initiatives, which is what we want mm -hmm. to do with the revenue of our levy. 